Welcome to Aqualut. I'm Wojtek Benker, the estate manager. I'm Richard Muniak and I'm the business lead on the latest test and trial that we're running. Aqualut Mir is a triple SI and Ramsar site in Staffordshire, a catchment area of 5,000 hectares. The estate, which is the owner of Aqualut Mir, has been in the family for over 200 years. There was always a connection between the community locally and the estate and we're trying to build back those relationships with an environmental focus. So today we're uh, moving the cattle, but the catchment itself has a whole range of different farming systems from dairy, beef, poultry, uh, through to salad growing on the more commercial soils, um, cereal growing, potato growing. So we have quite a diversity of farmers within the group, all with different uh, business models. There's a lot of potential for what we can do here. Um, for landscape recovery, for biodiversity, and we wanted to be part of that conversation. Our first project was about seeing if we could get a group of farmers together to design a landscape management plan um, and individual holding plans and what resources would be required. Setting some priorities like biodiversity, water quality, carbon sequestration, and how we would bring that all of those aspects together. This is a woodland that did feature as part of our first test and trial. We got the group of farmers together, we formed subgroups and those subgroups designed um, land management plans um, and, and um, for their holdings as well as for the whole catchment. So we looked at scenarios, so if I put a hedgerow there and if I put a pond there and if I um, grew this crop or cover crop there, how would all that connect up to improve biodiversity, water quality and that process involved a mapping system which the farmers were really keen on, a visual representation of the land where they could see how opportunities could be connected together, wildlife corridors etc. I'm from a family farm only five minutes down the road from here. This is quite a, a new undertaking for DEFRA and they were changing the way that they were forming these policies and they wanted, they wanted input from the people it was affecting the most. So it, it was a chance to see if we could have had some effect upon the decisions made at DEFRA, um, not only to make it work better for us, but of course better for them. I mean, if it works for everybody, it's going to be a far more successful scheme. I farm 400 acres on the Aquila estate as a tenant. I'm very passionate about farming in an environmentally sensitive way, I'm doing whatever I possibly can um, to improve the environment to, to improve, improve biodiversity and, and help all the flora and fauna in the area. You know, we're next to a triple SI, so I feel it's a real responsibility to be doing that as well. We've already got a group of farmers as a group in the catchments. It just seemed a really logical step when the test and trial came along to be involved with that. In our first test and trial, the first finding was the role of a facilitator to help the group to deal with um, not only the, the data challenges of pulling together all of the information such as mapping, um, natural capital, ecosystem services and all of the reports that might be required on all of those holdings um, in order to properly assess that natural capital and those ecosystem services. Then there's the standardisation of things like soil um, assessments um, and carbon audits someone to facilitate, hold all that piece together um, for the entire group. And ideally someone that has some level of gravitas um, with, with um, DEFRA or the RPA or whoever the organisation is going to be, um, that can represent the farmers as a group um, directly and say actually no we're trying to achieve this. And someone that can also represent the point of the funding streams that might be available coming forward from private sector or public sector for more um, um, infrastructure or whatever it might be within the catchment group. So someone who already knows what demands there are from the various farmers um, for planting trees or for um, or whatever initiatives are agreed upon um, and, and will be able to, to, to represent the farmers in, a, in those commercial situations. But um, in order to do that, you know, we need that we need that commercial agreement, we need to understand what that commercial agreement looks like, which is where we've progressed into the next test and trial. In this field we've got chicory, yarrow, uh, different types of clover, um, a few different types of grasses too. Uh, um, bird's foot trefoil is this yellow one here, or granny's toenails. Um, 
yeah, and it's, uh, it looks very brown, but there's a lot of green underneath that brown. Um, and we'll be bringing the stock in here next to, to benefit from all of this. But this has had a good two months of rejuvenation and you can hear the insect life, you see the butterfly. I'm the farms director on the Bradford Estates. We're looking at more sustainable farming practices. The uh, collaboration is, is hugely important within the Aqualate group because it, it allows us to share ideas. That, you know, we, there's, there's failures and there's successes which we're able to share amongst the group. I think it's massively important, the land management plan, because we, I call them our natural capital plans. It allows me to take every farm look at, looking at it as it is today and adding stuff to see what it looks like in the future because if I'm going to be measured, I'm going to be measured on these sorts of things. Doing the hard work now of measuring hedgerows, counting trees, looking at different schemes on each individual farm that I've got puts me at the forefront of being able to make the most of whatever schemes come forward. Mm -hmm.